Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. Now for this video tutorial we're going to take a look again at revealing an image in Blender and if you remember my previous tutorial in building image transitions in Blender then you'll also find this one very interesting. Now we're going to use the build modifier and I'm deleting the default cube here. We're going to use the build modifier and we're going to use it again to this time around reveal an image. Now pretty interesting technique for this video tutorial as well. I'm going to use one of my images found on my other blog. CC0 art blog where I'm sharing CC0 images free for everyone to use as they please. And we're going to use this image right here. Okay. Now, obviously, what we're going to do is click File and Import Images as Planes. Let's locate the image. And it's the mod image. All right. Let's import it. And you can see the image in place. What I'll do here on the material is also click Save List. You can click Save List uh, while importing the image in Blender. Now I'll hit 7 on my mirror keypad for the top perspective view and then 5 for the top ortho view. And hit the Del key, the comma key, to frame my uh, plane here in the viewport. And I'll hit Ctrl, Alt and 0 to position the camera at the place I was looking. Now right mouse button click this frame to select the camera and I'm going to move my camera away from the plane and try to roughly frame it. You can see this is a plane and this is a camera frame. All right. I think we're good at 1.95. All right. Now I'll also change the viewport setting mode. Let's change it to texture so we can see the texture in place. All right. Now we've seen on the previous video tutorial that you can easily, let's move over to the modifiers. I'm going to click add modifier and I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier that we can easily create add a subdivision surface modifier. And obviously, we will click on simple so that the subdivision surface doesn't distort the original shape of the image, just adds a few more faces for us to use. Now what you can do is increase the view, let's say up to five for view and render. And I'm also going to need a timeline right here. Okay. Timeline. All right. And what you can do now is click add modifier and add, let's add a build modifier. All right, let's set the length to 200. Now this is pretty much what we did on the previous video tutorial. I'm going to hit play to take a look. And you can see the plane here using the build modifier to build itself in the length of 200 frames. And it looks pretty nice. Now what we're going to do is try to twist this one a bit and create a more interesting result. I'll uh, bring the, subsurf the first subdivision surface modifier down to 2 from 5 for both the view and the render. Okay. And leave the build as is. And I'm going to collapse the subsurf modifier. And what I'll do now is add another subdivision surface modifier. And again, set it to simple and then set the subdivisions to two for both the view and the render. What we're doing now is, and hope you've seen my previous video tutorial on positioning the modifiers in the modifier stack. So what we have here is first subdivision surface is applied on the object. And then the object uses the build modifier to build itself in the length of 200 frames. But on the build modifier, we have another subset modifier set to 2 for the view and render. 
So if we move bit, you can see that it now creates some interesting geometry here as the build modifier works on the object. Let's do it again. I'm going to add another build modifier. Set the length to 200. We want 200 frames for the object to be put together. And as you can see, we're getting some interesting results here. And that's because the first subset modifier is the one that creates more geometry for the plane and then it builds the object. And then on the build object, on the object as it is built in Blender, then the second subset modifier adds more geometry to it. And then we're having the build modifier and what we're going to do obviously here is add another subdivision surface modifier, bring this one up to two as well. And then I'm going to add yet another build modifier. And again, set the length for this one to 200. All right. As you can see, we're having a bit of an issue here, and that's because I haven't set the bottom subsurf modifier to simple. Okay. Once you set it to simple, it retains the original shape of the object as taken from the modifier above it. Now back to frame one, and let's hit play to see how it looks. All right, and that looks pretty interesting indeed. What you can also do, obviously, is add another subdivision surface, set it to simple and two for view and render, and then another build modifier. And the build modifier will use 200 frames to build the object. All right, looking good. Now back to frame one. And what you can also do is set the, let's set the horizon color to a nice, pretty close to black. Move back to frame one, hit play, and let's see how this one looks. And this is pretty, pretty interesting. So this is it. Okay, hitting pause. And what you can obviously do here, try to mix stuff a bit, is to set randomize for the uh, build modifiers, randomize, randomize, and randomize again. And then you can also change the seed for the randomize effect. I uh, actually prefer the build modifiers without the randomize option, but you can use this one as well. Let's see how this one looks. What you can clearly see here better than uh, without the randomize checked is the way the object is put together. Now, the first build modifier cuts our object in. In two, we have four faces, and then uh, I believe we're having 16 faces because the first subset modifier is set to two, so it gets twice one and then twice the plane. So we're having four by four, and then the second subset modifier cuts the object again, so we're having four by four uh, over here and this is what creates the interesting effect you can see here let's uncheck the randomize for the build modifiers and take a final look now we're also using blender render so this will render pretty fast you can use this image taken from my blog at cc0art.blogspot.com 
or you can use your own images and import them into Blender. Now I've shown how to enable the the import image as planes and you can easily find this one at the user preferences and then move over to add-ons. Type in images at the search field here and then import export import images as planes and then check it and you're ready to use it in your scenes in Blender. So this is it, this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.